Hello, sports fans and Stratomatic baseball fans. I am here with my annual look at the Providence Grays, my team in the Elmwood Stratomatic Baseball League, which I have done several videos on. And every year I do a Providence Grays uh, cut down special where I show everyone what my team looks like going into the draft. Now, just to remind everybody in the Elmwood Stratomatic Baseball League, we usually have 40 plus, plus players on our roster. And by January 1st, we have to cut down to 20. And then we have a 20 round uh, draft to build the team back up. Now, last year, I was the, I believe, fifth worst team in the league. So I have the fifth pick. Providence has the fifth pick in every round of the draft. Uh, unless I traded that pick away, I did happen to trade my original first round pick away. However, I do have two other fir teams' first round picks at pick number 13, I believe, and 15 of the draft. So I will have two first round picks this year, even though my original one, the number five pick, was traded which is just as well because I don't think that this draft is going to be um, as chock full of good players as it usually is. So to start out, let me go through players who are returning from 2020 or 2021. These are players who I had on my team last year, even if I obtain them right near the end of last year. These are players who were on my roster when the season ended last year. And it's a good portion because I did have some good players, even though I was not very good. <coughs> All right, so uh, let's start down here at catcher with Oh, all right, that, that one's done. That marker does not work. Let's start down here with Mr. Tucker Barnhart. He is returning. He will be back as my catcher. Don't know if you can see that. Um, hopefully you can, uh, but let me see. There we go. There we go. So Tucker Barnhart at catcher, he is returning. Uh, Eduardo Escobar, who will, for me, for the moment, be the first baseman. However, I will be working on getting another first baseman. But I did trade to get him late last year, so he was on the team. Um... At shortstop, of course, you had Tim Anderson, and he will be returning for this campaign. At third base, we have two guys. Uh, Joey Wendell is one, and he has been with me for the last, I think, couple of seasons. And also Evan Longoria. Now, for those of you that don't know, uh, Joey Wendell is going to be a, a third base one this year. So I kind of uh, kind of hit pay dirt with that. Evan Longoria is a two. I'm probably going to platoon them with Wendell playing against righties and Evan Longoria playing against lefties. That's the plan right now. Um, Left field, you have Eloy Jimenez, who I acquired last season in the off season, right before the season started. You also have Michael A. Taylor in center, and he is also going to be a uh, one. He is a center field one this year. So I'm going to have a gold glover there. It's nice that he's a gold glover because he can't hit. Um, Adam Engel 
Now, Adam Engel will not be available for the entire season because he was injured for much of last season, but I did have him on the roster, and I still do. Um, and then, uh, let's see, that's it for the position players or D and or DH. So let's move to the pitching staff for guys that I kept over from last year. Uh, the first one is Gosman, and Gosman had an awesome year. He is going to be very good for me this year. I expect big things from him. The next one you have is Tyler Anderson, not Tim Anderson. He won't be double duty. <laughs> We're going to go with Tyler Anderson, who I drafted in last year's draft and also had a pretty good year. Uh, Alex Wood. I obtained late last year. He didn't see much uh, playing time for me because he had a terrible card last year and it was a terrible part-time card. But I obtained him mainly for this year uh, going forward. Um, and I believe I had John Gray as well last year. I think I obtained him last year before the end of the season. So, right there, my rotation is pretty well, you know, I just need one more guy. Uh, pretty much. I think all of these guys are full-timer. Yeah. All these guys are full-time. I just need one starter, and I can get through the entire season. And uh, the four of these guys are pretty good. Now, in the bullpen, we got Lucas Sims returning. We also have... Yes, Miro Petit, he is returning. And we also have, no, we don't. We, I just obtained him. So that is, these are the people that are returning from, uh, from last year. And you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have seven guys that I went out and traded and obtained uh, through the shrewdness of my trade acumen. And we will write in those people. Um, beginning with, we're going to write in the DH because he is new to our team this year. And that is J.D. Martinez. Went out and I got him from the uh, Adams family team. And let's see who else going around the diamond. We have Jose Altuve will be our new second baseman. He had an expiring contract with the New York Knights and the Knights had to cut down because they had, uh, they had too many guys for the uh, reserve spots that were available to them. So I snatched up Altuve, I believe, for my first round pick. So I think that was a good deal um, because you're not going to get a Jose Altuve at pick number five in this draft coming up. Um, let's see, who else? We have, I just acquired uh, Taylor Ward. I believe he was on the Angels. And he'll be a backup outfielder, I think, for me. And we also obtained, um, you know what? I think he was returning from last year. Maybe returning from last year. I think he was. All right, we're going to write him in blue because I forgot about him. Um, let's see. Where is that blue pen that I just had? All right, anyway, um, Austin Hayes. I forgot about him. We did have Austin Hayes last year before the season ended. But another guy that we acquired for the outfield is Tyler Naquin.
So that is our, this is the complement of all of the position players that we currently have going into the draft. Barnhart at catcher, Martinez at DH, Escobar for the time being at first base. However, I will make it a priority to draft another one. El Tuve at second, Tim Anderson at short, Wendell and Longoria sharing the uh, third base duties. Eloy Jimenez, Michael A. Taylor, Adam Engel, Taylor Ward, Austin Hayes, and Tyler Naquin. Now, uh, the rotation didn't add anybody, so I'm going to have to add people through the draft for the rotation. But we did add one bullpen piece in a trade this offseason, and that is in the person of Jake McGee. So that is the entire team. This is all 20 guys that I am going into battle with. Uh, what do you guys think? I had a bad season last year, but of course I had a lot. Of, I think I also had a lot of a lot of guys underperform, and we also last year were playing under rules that said that nobody could get injured for the entire season, and the commissioner has. Um, unilaterally changed that this year and we won't have that rule anymore so we will have injuries and I think that that's going to make for a better experience especially for teams who aren't quite as good as other teams although I like this one I think this team is quite good I think it has quite a good start at being a good a really good team uh, Gosman and Alex Wood were excellent last year and Tyler Anderson and Gray were you know passable in a 20-team league, this is a 20-team league. So in a 20-team league, those guys are gonna they're gonna take their lumps. But I also have an offense. Judging from you know the guys that I have here, I have an offense that I think can get it done and help those guys out a little bit. Also, the three guys that are in the bullpen are quite good. Pettit. Petit, he didn't strike a lot of guys out, but he did have a low whip. He allowed not a lot of guys on base. And Lucas Sims also had a pretty low whip. So that's what I'm going into battle with. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Um, let me know what you think I need to go out and get in the draft if you want. Uh, I know I got to go get a first baseman because Escobar ain't going to cut it as a first baseman. But. Uh, any other comments, I welcome any kind of input that you guys would have on my Providence Grays going into the 2022 uh, Elmwood Stratomatic season. But that's going to be it for me right now, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.